come out and play a little better. I think he was all that bad before the interval. Oh dear, oh dear, well, that is uh, not what he's got to do. He was doing a little bit with the cue ball, but he should never have missed it still. It's a bit of extra pace on the ball, I think. Unforced error. Whereas before the interval, Ricky Walden missed only five balls in all, and only one of those could be described as in any way a basic shot. Amazing to see Walden playing Four. so well when you remember that, that he's not even reached a ranking last 16 this season before this week. Five. Like Sean Murphy, who also had an indifferent 12. season up to winning the World Grand Prix a couple of weeks ago. Both 13. Walden and Murphy tinkered with their game, searching for that extra elusive 2 or 3%, but at the risk of losing maybe anything up to 10%, of their natural game. Anyway, earlier this week, Walden said that he'd gone back to his original methods. 20. And unless there's something drastically wrong, usually spontaneity. 21. Your natural game is best. Yes, it's a difficult game when you're thinking about anything else but the ball in front of you. You're worrying about whether your back arm is going through and everything else. You're standing right. All these things on the match table, there's just enough 29. traffic in your mind without all that. And like you say, when he's at his best, his natural game, I think, is good enough. But everyone does it. A bad run of form and try and change something. I can think of very few players who seem never to have changed their cue action. I think John Higgins might be one. I can't remember too many changes he's made. He usually changes his cue, but not his cue action. Yes, he was forever lengthening it, shortening it. 37. Forty-three. Forty-nine. Hawkins paying the price for missing a basic pink from its spot. Forty-nine. 
50. Strokes them in, is Ricky Walden. Even that shot, not too much effort, not overheading. Well, he's just off straight, but just off straight the wrong side. The shot that he would like to play. Well, I'm guessing he tried to go into them, but it was nowhere near, actually. And if he did play onto the red, 56. to the left middle, that uh, might just go there. I'd be surprised. Not even sure if it does go to the middle, so I'm sure he went into them. I'll try to. Fifty-seven. Well, I still know what he played, but in the end, the red was available. Needs black and one more red to clinch the frame. I think he must be double checking the score. Pressure on this 64. shot. Because everything else is on its spot, everything's in the middle of the table. How's he going to play it? He's got to play it in such a way that he doesn't leave the other red available, whatever happens. Doesn't want to think too long and hard, because really, the way he's been playing, I fancy him not this in any way. Yeah, very good. I like that. If you think of ways to leave the ball safe if you miss, then you're more likely to miss than play it with such great authority as he did there. Lovely shot. Seventy-two. Seventy-three in earlier frames. Walden has made breaks of fifty-seven, sixty-three, and seventy-three. Seventy-seven. And if he clears the colours, seventy-nine. The break will be one hundred and four. 82. Eighty six. Ninety one. Ninety seven. One hundred and four. One more from Hawkins. Hawkins. Walden pounced with one hundred and four. He leads four one, and he's going to take some catching the way he's playing.